morning everyone, Dave here with the High Hilltop Hobby Farm and uh, before I get busy today I want to take some time and uh, do something I should have done a lot more but uh, I wanted to say thank you all for your support and uh, I appreciate the comments you know seeing all the comments and getting to respond to things really makes the channel uh, more interesting and uh, more enjoyable to do so I want to say thank you for subscribing thanks for all the comments and uh, Look forward to all of them in the future. Um, today, I'm gonna go ahead and put a fresh edge on the saw, and we're gonna go out and cut some firewood. So stick around, we'll get busy. When I sharpen my chains, um, I believe all chains will come with a factory painted link. However, after you use them for a while, they tend to uh, wear out and wear off there. Anyways, I like to take a, a Sharpie of any color and just paint a tooth. And then uh, I'll start on that tooth and from there go around. But that gives me a, a starting point for each side of the bar. Another example of why I love my rhino. <laughs> Pretty good sized log we were ripped out of there. Old locust, that'll be good firewood there. There's the workhorse. All right, we got a bunch more to go here. So I'll get busy cutting this up. So we got that uh, tree cleaned up. Killed two birds with one stone. 
got some firewood and uh, cleaned up the property you know uh, this is this is my favorite thing to do right here is uh, salvage old trees that are going to sit there and rot I pull them off the ground and a lot of them are still good to use so I got another issue we're going to deal with here and uh, we'll keep at it all right next we got some hanging around on the property that we don't want behind me here's an, a locust limb that uh, was caught in some vines it came out of the top of the tree up there I don't know if you can see it or not yeah I think so but anyways it's right above our heads and I don't like driving under this trail because of it so we're gonna see if we can pull it down out of there I don't think we have any other hazards above us where we're going to be pulling but that's something you always want to make sure you do is look at the total area where you're pulling from what's above you in the future what could possibly fall on you so we're going to go ahead and get this pulled down out of here i think it should be a pretty safe task but uh, we'll see So that went pretty smooth besides Wes always acting crazy, but <laughs> we got him down out of there Always got to be on the lookout for him because if he sees something move, he's instantly wanting to, to go play so I Think all in all it went went pretty smooth the rhino pulled it right out of there so We'll get it cut up and cleaned up I'm gonna go ahead and set the stage for what I just did there and tell you all what it what it was and how I did it so basically I had a uh, I'd say it's around 20 inch at the base maybe a little bigger locust log it was a blowover and I'd say it's probably about a hundred feet long maybe a little more but uh, anyways the top was about 15 feet off the ground down here suspended in vines and uh, it was just a big mess I really wanted to get this firewood because if you're familiar with locusts, it's it's really good wood to burn. Um, it burns hot and long. Um, it's really hard. So we'll go ahead and show you the log and uh, show you how I went about doing it and what I thought was the safest way to do it. Um, again, it was a blowover and it was suspended in vines. The top was about 15, 20 feet off the ground. So I'm going to show you the log and show you how I cut it. Okay, so the butt logs up the hill there. About 30 feet and uh, this was my first cut this was my second cut and then I worked the vines collapsing on the way out but basically my theory was this was the safest area with no overhead hazards pretty open I went ahead and I notched it I knew it would be compression on the top side so I notched the top and I cut up from the bottom and when I did that Oh, sorry sweating like a pig <laughs> when I did that it actually allowed the log to slowly drop um, and I made the cut and it dropped onto this log so now it's suspended from this point all the way out to the vines I went ahead and I deemed this to be a pretty safe cut no overhead hazards and the same thing since it was suspended here and there I knew it would be a compression on the top so I put a notch on the top end and cut from the bottom and slowly dropped it down uh, as far as the rest I got to work with um, I got to cut out the vines and pull the top out with the rhino and uh, I'll cut it all up for firewood but uh, tell me what you think about it um, should I have done it a different way any tips did I do it the right way 
uh, let me know. Um, again, I really wanted this log. This is going to be great firewood. And uh, I think it went pretty smooth. But All right, we'll get busy. All right, so now that I've gotten a thoroughly disastrous mess on my hands, <laughs> I got all the top cut out of the vines and on the ground. Let's go ahead and show you there. And I also cut down a, uh, a way down there that's full of vines. That helped the mess, but uh, it was bent over. Uh, I wasn't real healthy because of the vines. Pretty much like that one there. However, I'll cut the vines out of it. Maybe it'll keep growing. We'll see. But the reason this part of the woods here is so viney, because I believe 60 or 70 years ago, um, this used to be pasture field. And uh, then I think they had cattle on it after that. And yeah, it just grew up. Not a lot of mature trees on it. A lot of box elder and vines. And uh, these locusts, which I'm fine with them. But we're going to go ahead and get these uh, logs drug out. And uh, get them cut up. This may be it for the video. Um, I don't want them to go too long. But uh, thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'll show you a picture of it all stacked up maybe. So, Alright, y'all take care.